a year removed from tragedy, a town changed forever. We can move beyond that night. The ongoing healing in Central Texas. A solemn observance tonight in the town of West, exactly one year ago since the fertilizer plant explosion. It killed 15 people, injured hundreds, and damaged or destroyed some 200 homes. It's been a painful year of rebuilding in West. The KXAN's David Scott reports tonight was for remembering. The West Community Baseball Diamonds, a field of dreams, turned a nightmare exactly a year ago when this became the initial emergency triage area to handle hundreds of injured people. And just up the road tonight, a memorial observance for those who didn't make it. In this town of 2,813 people, everyone remembers that night, the panic and pain, the death and destruction. The mayor recalls that virtually every city officer lost their home, but immediately got to work rebuilding the town. And they put, away, put aside their personal tragedies and worked at this town. I don't know if you can find anybody uh, that can lay a candle to those people. Those people are top shelf. Some 100 families remain displaced, hoping to get home this year. All of this has been helped by volunteers, faith, and churches. Not only have we made progress physically, we are making progress and healing emotionally and spiritually as well. Tonight at 751, a moment of silence, marking the moment of the actual explosion. Some questions still hit home. What specifically caused that blast? When will the last of the families be able to get into their houses? And what are they going to do with all the ammonium nitrate not stored so safely around Texas? Questions for another day. Tonight was for remembering. In West, David Scott, KXAN News. It is important to note we still do not know what caused the fire and resulting explosion one year ago. The legislature is also looking at new rules and regulations for the safe storage of ammonium nitrate here in Texas. The state has given $8 million in aid money. FEMA has given $20 million to West. But something you may not have known, private donors gave some $3.6 million. However, until recently, a lot of the money had been largely sitting in a big account. Back in February, West Long-Term Recovery Center came under fire for not getting money to those who needed it. They say they now have speeded up that amount, being given out with more than $1.6 million to more than 350 people. The tremendous amount of work that has been done in such a short amount of time really is very overwhelming. More than 300 remaining cases still need to be processed by West Long-Term Recovery. That team believes everyone will be back in their homes by this Thanksgiving.